by the time the holidays are over, maybe you've had a minute or five minutes or 30 seconds of something absolutely real and deep. All the hours invested are worth, in other words, the 30 seconds or the five seconds of something really, really deep, something really connected and where there's something that happens, there's a connection. And I don't want to spell it out with whom or where or with God, with the community, with the music, with the text, with my great-grandparents, with, with Israel, with the language. There's a million possibilities of where a connection may happen. That moment of connection is worth all the hours invested. Because usually, if it's a real, real deep connection, there's nothing like it. And some insight may come about. And some sense of who I am, or who I am supposed to be, may come about. A sense of, of my true identity, of who I really am, and who I am spiritually, and who I am as a Jew, may, may come about in that moment. It's huge. Huge. Now, our culture is a culture of immediate gratification. You want it, and you want it now, and in the short amount of time, and you want it in the shortest amount of time, and you want it for the least possible money and with the least possible effort. In the spiritual wor world, it doesn't really work like that. You know? The deepest things, you have to put in a little time and a little effort. And you have to take the risk that it may not happen this time. You went to shul one day and it didn't happen. Maybe it's going to happen tomorrow, so you have to show up tomorrow, you know? But we want it now. So, you know, if we didn't get it in the first 10 minutes, we leave. And I don't want to put any effort. I want somebody else to do it for me. It doesn't work. And that's what we have to learn. Right? We have to learn that we these things take preparation, they take reading, they take thinking, they take preparing, they take coming and putting in the time. And But the reward, there's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. You know, so I think people have to know that and be willing. Because, you know, what happens is we seek and we seek and we seek and we never find. And may, maybe, maybe the problem is in the way we're seeking. You know, we're seeking too much in sync with the culture of which we are a part. We're seeking too soon, too fast, without any effort, you know, instant gratification, uh, drive-through, you know. And that's not usually going to yield much. So I'm saying one suggestion is be willing to just put in a little extra and to give of yourself and to be patient, to be patient, to suspend all of the critical judgment and all the, you know, these expectations that has to happen now. Suspend all of that and just let yourself be in the experience. 